Hey guys, it's me, your host, Prince Guy again, and, well, today, I wasn't exactly sure what to do for this video, so, I decided I would make a short little video where I just look at something that's pretty cool, and honestly, I was thinking, what's cool? And I just pulled up my computer, and I went to dictionary.com for some reason. I just had some kind of intuition. I was like, let's go to dictionary.com. And um, I found this one link that took me to some of the longest words in the English language. And some of them are actually pretty long. Like, upwards of 30, 45 characters. So, I'm going to be weeding out, I think there's 13 of them, and I'm going to see if I can even pronounce these. So, let's get started. I've got my computer here with me, and we're going to go ahead and get started, and you can already see there's long, because these are long. Okay, first up is, I'm gonna read it. It says, let's start off with a word related to the business of longest words. Sesquipedalianism? What? Ses Sesquipedalianism. Okay, I think I got that one. That's the tendency to use long words. And a sesquipedal is a person who has sesquipedalian tendencies. So that's pretty interesting. It's a word that means to use long words. A long word that means using long words. Alright, let's go to the next one. Okay, here's the next one. I don't really even want to try to pronounce this. Okay. New monotramic gross microscopic silico volcanokinosis. I think I said that totally wrong, but um, who cares? I'm just gonna read the description for it. Um, there are a number of long words in the medical and science fields, and we don't want to add words strictly from that arena. But the longest word in that field is that. This right here. That's 45 characters. I told you these are so long. Which is the manufactured name of an occupational lung disease, more commonly known as silicosis. I can't even pronounce the short version. Like, it's a like one-fifth the length of this, and I can't even pronounce it. From inhaling crystalline silica dust, like volcanic ash. Okay, next one. Okay, here's another one that's so big it doesn't fit on the slide and it needs a hyphen. Okay. Suedo pseudohypoparathyroidism. I think I said that one pretty close. Okay, let's check out this description. Um, we include suedo something, or actually it's suedo suedo hypoparathyroidism. I said that a lot better when I see it the other way. I don't know how. Okay, another medical science-derived term, because this one is the longest non-coined word. It's the longest not fabricated but natural word to appear in dictionaries. Okay, that's pretty cool. So, it's not because, um, because it's super long. It's because it's the longest non-coined word. Okay, so some of these won't be super long, but they'll be special long words, like the longest of something. So that's cool. Okay, here's the next one. anti desist establishmentarianism anti establishmentarianism That one's not too bad, because it's got establishment, and tarianism, and anti. So you can break it down into chunks. That's what you gotta do. You gotta take the chunks that are pronounceable and kind of mash them together. Okay, it's a prime example of an of a that word word, as it's actually the longest natural or non-coined word in the English language. I don't exactly know what that means, but it's something interesting. The word isn't really used today. Okay. This next one, as you can't really it's not, you can tell it's not really as long as the other ones. It's flossin now, blah, blah, blah. There's too many vowels and too many sounds. I can't say this one. I'm not even going to try. There's too many eyes. It's like more eyes than all letters combined. And 
It's a word that's something of little or no value, and it's usually used in reference to itself. So that's pretty cool. This one's kind of boring. Here's another one that's kind of boring. This one is apparently the longest word in common usage. It's incomprehensibilities. I said that one flawlessly, I guess because it's common usage. Well, guess what? I'm good at reading words with common usage. 21 characters. Okay, and he says, when was the last time you actually said it? Well, just now, so. We're about halfway through. We've got uncopyrightables, another boring, easy-to-pronounce one. But it says the peculiar thing about this word is that it does not repeat any letter. Each character in this word is used only once, which is weird. And it says it's an isogram, and the longest isogram is not this one. It's actually supermatoglyphics. So I wonder why they didn't put supermatoglyphics instead of uncopyrightables, since that one is apparently the longest one. I don't know. I would have put supermatoglyphics. Now we have squirreled. And like I said, this one isn't that long, but the thing about it is it's the longest one-syllable word. So that's pretty cool. Number nine is uncharacteristically, and I don't know why it's even in there. It's just there, because it's long. This one's a weird one. Apparently, this company, Price Waterhouse Coopers, actually spells their name like that. Uh -huh. Here's another one that I'm not even going to try to pronounce. I just know it says dichloro, and I think chlorine. So it's some kind of chemical, I guess. It says, this is the longest word, and then in parentheses, well, not really word, but item, banned by the government. And it says it's, so it's short for DET. Agricultural use of the chemical was banned. Yeah, okay, so it's the longest word for a product. The longest name of a product that is banned. Ha! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my... Ooh, if I had a dollar for every G in this, I'd be Bill Gates. I wouldn't be making these videos right now. I'd be swimming in money. Okay, this is just not even gonna try. char gog a gog man chow ga gog cut chow bun a gun gum gog Okay, and it says this is the longest United States lake name. Okay, that's 45 characters. It goes by lake... Chow Bunna Gungamog, which is just as hard to pronounce, and Lake Webster. It's in Webster, Massachusetts. I'm just going to skip in this one. Actually, no, it's interesting. I was going to skip it because it's boring, but it's actually pretty interesting. And it's abstentious. Abstentious. That one's easy. And it's the longest word using vowels in order exactly once. So you can see A-E-I-O-U. That's pretty cool. All right. And finally, it's supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed me attempting to read some of the longest words in the English language. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for more Pink Cupcake Podcast videos coming soon. Peace out.